Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be trying some new and new to me products. I'm going to be demoing and reviewing this new product from Merit. This is called their Bronze Balm Sheer Sculpting Bronzer. I have the lightest shade of this, so I'm going to be applying it to my face and sharing my thoughts on it. And I'll have a few comparisons with other cream and balmy bronzers in my collection. And then I'm also going to be using a few products from ZC. So I have an eyeshadow palette, a blush, and a lipstick from ZC. So I'm going to be demoing those and sharing my thoughts on them as well. So if you'd like to see all of that, just keep on watching. I actually wanted to get started with the eyes. And for the eyes, I'm going to be using this ZC palette. So all of the ZC products I'm using today were sent to me in PR. So thank you to ZC for sending me these items. This is the ZCX, the British Museum palette, and I thought this would just be such a pretty one. The color story is very pretty. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Midnight Sun palette from Pat McGrath, which is my favorite Pat McGrath palette. So I thought it would be fun to use this today. And let's just get right into the eye look. I think I'm gonna speed through it, but I'll be sure to show you every shade that I'm using as I go along. the completed eye look. Now I want to get into the bronzer. So this is the new Merit bronzer. I think there are five shades and I got the lightest one called Quince. That's what it looks like in the bullet. That's the packaging and it's called a sheer bronzing balm. And I think that is a very accurate description because this will be my second time using it. I used it yesterday as well. And I was really struck by how very sheer it is. Normally with these types of products in sticks, so something like the Rare Beauty bronzer, I go in with my brush right onto the bullet and then onto the face. I don't just swipe the product onto my face because it's usually just too much at once when I do that. So I was expecting to kind of use the same method with this one, but it is so incredibly sheer that it really only makes sense to me to swipe it directly on my face and then blend because it would just take forever and ever to build up enough pigment, at least with this lightest shade on my skin as it is right now. So let's demo this now and then I'll talk a little bit more about it. All right, so you saw how many swipes I did on my cheek there, which is a lot more than I would normally use, but with this product, it's kind of what is necessary. I'm gonna take my classic base brush from Sonia G 
and just start to kind of swirl and buff and blend that in. Kind of a mixture of patting and blending. So here we have the side with the Merit bronzer and without. It blends out really easily, quickly with the brush, but I wanna try the other side with a sponge. I haven't tried that yet, so let's do that. All right, so here we have sponge side versus brush side. They both work well, but I think I prefer the brush because it allows me to keep a little bit more of the pigment. I felt like the sponge was kind of picking up a little bit of the product and absorbing it into the sponge itself. And so I had to build up more, like I built up an additional layer with the sponge, um, which I didn't have to do with the brush side. And I just feel like I still even have a little bit more color from the brush side than I do from the sponge side. And now that I have the bronzer on, I'll talk about the bronzer more after I have the rest of my makeup on. I'll have some comparisons for it as well, but I wanted to get my blush on next. So this is also from ZC, very beautiful. They have really lovely packaging. The products in the pan look beautiful as well. So this is their Blossom Blush in the shade H01 Orchid. So that's what it looks like in the pan. I'm gonna go in with my Sonia G Soft Cheek and just go kind of into all of the shades there. You can see it's an overspray with that gold. So I find this to be quite pigmented. So I just went in with my um, sponge, which had a little bit of concealer left on it, just to pat it in because my cheeks are still pretty balmy from the Merit stick. That really adds to the intensity of the powder blush on top of it because it all just kind of adheres right to the face. So I'm just kind of patting it out and softening the edges there a bit, which looks much better. I'm going to go back into just try to keep in that lighter shade just to kind of dust a little bit more of that over the cheeks. I feel like this is such a classic blush color. That beautiful sort of neutral rosy color that I think works on a lot of skin tones. It's, it's pink but not too pink. It has a little bit of a more muted quality of rosiness, almost like a little bit of a red mixed in there. So it's a really nice shade and the formula works really nicely as well. Very soft and smooth. I wanted to throw in a little bit of the Merit highlighter as well. This is a beautiful balmy highlighter stick. I have it in the shade Cava. I like to just go in with my finger and just tap a little bit of it onto my cheeks. This is one of the best cream highlighters for giving that really glossy, almost glassy, very dewy look. A little bit goes a long way. So unlike the bronzer, which I find needs to be built up quite a lot and is quite sheer, this one, although it has a sheerness to it because it's a cream highlighter, um, there is an opacity to it as well. It's kind of a nice blend of sheer and pigmented at the same time. And I do find a little bit goes a long way. And now for the lips, this is the third and final product from ZC that I got. This is another one of their collaborations that they've done. This time it's Picasso. So this is the Girls of Avignon lipstick. The case is 
just gorgeous. It has Picasso's artwork on there and it's a matte formula. And I thought the shade looked really pretty. So let's get this on the lips. And here's the lipstick on. They refer to the formula as a matte velvety lipstick, which is interesting. It actually feels to me a little bit more like a satin than a matte. It doesn't have any of that slightly sort of dry feeling that mattes usually have. It glided on really smoothly and it feels super comfortable on the lips. You even see a little bit of a sheen there. So really nice texture and formula. I think the color is very pretty as well. I think this shade goes very nicely with the blush too. They have that similar kind of rosy quality, pinky with a little bit of red. It gives enough color, but not overly bright and vibrant at the same time. Very nice. So I wanted to talk a little bit more about the Merit Bronzer because this is the new product that I'm reviewing and I have a lot of thoughts about this actually. I do like the sheerness of it. I think it's very rare actually to find a bronzer, really any cheek product that is as sheer as this. There's a swatch of the shade. I went back and forth several times to get that. I think this is actually a beautiful tone. It's a little bit warmer but I find it's actually pretty neutral. You've got a little bit of the warmth. I can see a little bit of a sort of yellow undertone, but I can also see a slight rosiness to it as well, which I think is great. I was concerned that it was going to be quite yellow because it's hard to tell from the promo photos, but I find that it has a good amount of kind of pinky rose in there as well to balance it out. And I like how the shade works with my skin tone. In terms of the sheerness, I think the closest thing I can compare it to is the Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer. This is also the lightest shade of that. I think the texture is somewhat similar as well. They're both balmy formulas, but I feel like the Mario is even more balmy. And I think the format can point to that as well because this one I think wouldn't hold up in a stick. It's that balmy and soft. The Merit one is solid enough, I guess, that it can handle being in that stick format. But I think the sheerness is similar. I would hazard to say that the Merit one is actually more sheer than the Mario though. That's what the two shades look like compared to one another. The Mario is just a little bit cooler toned. I can see more gray in the Mario. And that's actually a slight downside of the Mario one for me um, is that sometimes it can pull a little bit too gray on my skin. I've noticed a couple times when I've worn it, but I don't think that the Merit one would do that because it just has more warmth in there. The other formula that I can think of that sort of reminds me of this Merit one are the salt bronzers. I just wanted to take a look at the lightest bronze shade. It's just called light in comparison. Um, the salt ones are a lot more pigmented, but they're very easily sheared out. And the salt ones have a more matte finish, where the Merit is definitely more of a kind of dewy, radiant finish. But I think the tones, if you look at the salt in light compared to the Merit Quince, very similar tones actually. And then I just wanted to quickly look at the Rare Beauty in comparison because I think these formulas are so different. It's interesting that they're in the same stick format here, but the way that they behave on the skin, the pigmentation levels, the finishes, everything else about them is so different. So I think it's kind of interesting just to compare those formulas and the shades. So again, we're seeing pretty similar shades there actually, but you can see just how pigmented the Rare Beauty one is and it almost looks a little bit deeper, but I think that's more because of the matte finish. Both of these I actually really like, and I'm happy to have both of them for different purposes. The Rare Beauty one is going to give a more pigmented look. It's going to give a matte bronze look. This is more of a cream to powder formula, so it's totally dry once it's on the face, really, and it gives a very kind of blurred, blended look. It's a more makeup-y look. It's still really nice and natural looking, but I find the Rare Beauty is a more makeup-y look. Well, the Merit one, because it has that a little bit more translucency to it, it's not really translucent, but just because of the very sheer balmy texture of it and that slightly more reflective radiant finish, this to me is more of a no makeup kind of bronzer. It's actually kind of nice sometimes 
to have something so sheer that you can just kind of have fun applying it. You can use more product than you normally would. I do have to be very careful when I'm using the Rare Beauty or other more pigmented bronzers, but it's just kind of nice to have the option of a very sheer one that I don't really have to think about. I don't have to be careful about at all because I know it's so sheer and balmy that it's just going to blend really, really easily, no matter how much I put on. I also appreciate the shape of this. So with the Rare Beauty, the shape doesn't actually matter to me because I'm never applying it directly to my face. But with this one, because it works best, I think, applied directly to the face, the shape works very nicely to get wherever you want it. And I like that you have the ability to go a little bit thinner if you wanted to do a little bit of kind of nose shading or contouring. It works really nicely for that as well. The thing that kind of disappoints me about the Merrick product is actually the packaging. I think it looks beautiful. I love the presentation. The visual effect is great, but it's extremely lightweight. For some people that might not matter, but because it's so lightweight, it just kind of lacks a little bit of that high-end luxury feeling that I'm looking for when I'm paying this much for a product. So this is $39 Canadian which is not a low price. Like the Rare Beauty one is $30 Canadian. It does have less product, but it's much more pigmented. So you're probably going to get about the same amount of uses out of both of these products, despite the Rare Beauty having technically a lot fewer grams in it um, because the Merit is so sheer. And I just feel like if I'm paying that price for a product, I want a little bit of that weightiness. The lightweightness will make it great for travel. It's quite small and compact as well, so it's great for travel and it's not a huge deal breaker, but it's just a bit of a disappointment for me. I feel like Merit is just a little bit inconsistent across the board in terms of what you can expect from their packaging for each individual product. I think their foundation has a nice packaging. It has a good weight to it, a nice luxurious feeling. Their lipsticks are some of my favorite packaging for lipsticks ever. They're gorgeous, they're heavy. The Lucite caps are very beautiful and give a, a lovely kind of retro luxury feel. It's just a little bit inconsistent in terms of when they come out with a new product, I am never quite sure what to expect with their packaging. Their blush packaging also is a little bit lighter weight. They've redone their blush packaging to have this gold color, which I do prefer a lot to the gray color that they had previously. I haven't tried any of the blushes in the new packaging yet actually, but I suspect that they're also quite lightweight like the bronzer and like the blushes were in their previous packaging. But overall, I do like this product. I think it has a unique position in my collection. I think the shade Quince is a great shade for me. I have fair skin and my undertone is neutral, leaning more toward the warm side. And I also love the ease of use of this. I think it's quite satisfying to use. So overall, I think this is quite a good product. I didn't talk much about the ZC eyeshadow palette. It worked really easily. Everything blended really nicely. The mattes are a little bit powdery in the pan, but that's nothing that bothers me, and I find that most mattes really are a little bit powdery. These ones are a little bit more hard pressed into the pan, I find. The metallics as well are not quite as soft as something like maybe the Natasha Denona metallics, which can be very creamy. Her mattes too can be quite creamy to the touch. These are a slightly drier, kind of harder pressed formula but they worked really beautifully, are very easy to work with and blend out and build up. So I'm really happy with that eyeshadow palette as well. And this is a product that actually does have a very nice weight to it. It has a very luxurious feel, as does the blush. I like the formula of the blush as well, and that color was really nice. And the lipstick I'm quite impressed with as well. So wins all around here. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. I'd love to see those. If you'd like to see more from me and you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I'd love for you to do so. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.